Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what I'm doing is I am going to be doing an SST teach-in on my Evo 10. Now I've just had the transmission serviced last night. So got a new transmission filter and fluid. Um, so it's already actually shifting a lot better than what it was. Um, I've been actually putting off doing a service on the transmission just because I knew that it's getting closer and closer to the time that I'll be rebuilding the gearbox. But after hearing that I'm better off changing it more often, even though I'm soon to be replacing it because um, you will damage more parts in the process of running old fluid. So yeah, mine was well overdue. I think it had been about 20,000 kilometers and I've done a few hard drives in the car. So it was definitely time to get it done. Um, and yeah, like I said, the car is now shifting actually a lot better than what it was. So I'm thinking if I do a teach-in as well, it should you know, relearn where the clutches are and all that sort of stuff. Um, it should actually shift even better again, I'm hoping. So yeah, I thought I'd make a video on doing that. There's already a great couple of videos on SST teach-ins on YouTube that I've watched before. Um, and I wasn't planning on making it, but I've had a few people request that I do it. So I thought, why not? My channel seems to be mainly about the Evo 10 and Rally Art with the SST transmission. So it would make sense for me to put one of these videos up if I'm doing the teaching process myself anyway. So first thing you need to do is you need to get your car to about 50 degrees Celsius for the transmission. Between 40 and 80 is what they say. So mine's about 50 at the moment. I've just had a bit of a drive to get where I parked up here. And you also need to be on level ground. So I'm not sure if the camera's picking up. This ground isn't exactly the most level. Um, I just usually come here and film because it's a private spot I can sort of, you know, get to myself on a weekday. Um, but yeah, it's not level enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down to another car park nearby, see if I can find somewhere a little bit more level. Um, as this is a bit of a noisy process, so it's good that I'm close to a motorway. As doing teaching, your car will rev to, uh, I think it's like 4,000 RPM or so for about a minute, just while it's completing the process. So it is quite loud, especially if you have a loud exhaust like I do. But yeah, with that said, I'm gonna jump in the car, move it somewhere a little bit more level ground. Um, I'll show you what you'll need to do it and then we'll start the process. Okay guys, so I've parked on a more level ground. It's about the best I'm gonna get. Um, and so as you can see, I've got the car running and here is my transmission temp currently. So it is at 57 degrees Celsius. So right in about the range we want to be. Um, and then what we're going to need is we're going to need a Tatrix cable and a laptop with the pass-through CAN software. So um, just before I get into that, if you don't have the um, Android head unit or an Android phone with the Talk Pro app and the SST temp set up, um, then you can also do it um, with the Tatrix cable, if you download EvoScan program, it's about $25 US that does have an SST um, measuring like setting on there where you can look at all the SST sort of data and you can get your transmission temperature off that because you really do want it to be in the range between the 40 and 80 degrees just because otherwise it may not pass, you know, you get through certain steps of this teaching process and you'll find that it won't pass for, won't tell you why, but it could be anything of low fluid too high fluid, um, transmission temperature not at the optimal range. So yeah, it's best to have some way of measuring it before attempting. But yeah, with that said, I'm gonna unplug this cable down here. So that is no longer needed because we need that port for our Tatrix cable. So I'll plug that in. I'll turn the laptop on and I'll show you the software we'll be using and then we'll start the process. Okay guys, so we're ready to go. Got everything plugged in. So this is the software we need. So it's pass through can. Um, it's free to get. I'll put a guide on how to do it. I had a bit of trouble getting it myself. Um, it's just as the certain files have to be in certain locations to make it all actually work. So you can get the pass through can downloaded, but when you actually want to read or do the actual teaching procedure, it's going to say that you're missing a file or whatever it says. Um, but yeah, so I'll put a link to where you download everything and I'll put a link to a video on how you get it, which I found really helpful. It just didn't have that one step that I needed. But I managed to work it out after a few days of trying, um, thinking that it was something wrong with 
my computer or my car, but yeah, ended up being a certain file I had to put in a certain location, like I said. So yeah, once you've got that, we'll go from there. And so what you want to do is open Pass Through Can. You want to click on Pass Through Can Teach In and click the little tick. So it's now searching for, make sure all the files are in the right locations. And there we go, so that's working. So now this is the actual, all the things that we can do for the Teach In. As you can see, there's eight settings. But you'd think you'd just do it from step one to eight. You actually don't. There's a certain process that you have to follow to complete it. So the first thing we want to do is number seven, clutch ventilation. So we'll click on that. And just if I didn't mention, so we've got the car running in park, foot on the brake, and yeah, the transmission up to the certain temperature we want. Mine's around 60 degrees now from sitting here. But yes, yeah, so we want to go clutch ventilation. So hopefully you can see that. We want to tick yes. And tick that yes, we would like to execute that. The car is then going to rev to around 1500 RPM for a second. And tell us that that is done. So the clutch ventilation is the last one done. It had an abnormal end, so we want to say normal end, so I'm just going to try that again. Alright guys, so I've moved the car around a couple of times, trying to find some more level ground than where I am. Um, and not really having any luck, just keep getting abnormal end on the clutch ventilation. Um, could be the level ground, could be that there's not the right amount of fluid, it's overfilled, I don't think that's the case. But either way, we're going to move on. Um, as I've had this before and you can continue going through, it's fine to have that one abnormal end there. So we're gonna move on to the next step, but yeah, clutch ventilation. You wanna normally to say normal end, yes. Not abnormal end, but we're going to move on just to get this finished. Um, but yeah, you can try it like 20 times, before I've tried it about yeah, 20 times and I finally ended up saying normal end yes. Um, but for today, I think I'm just gonna keep going through it. All right, so our next step is the plausibility check. So we'll click on that, click down on our green tick. Yes, we wanna complete it. It's going to rev again. Um, about 1500 RPM again. It's completed. And this time, see, we've got normal end, yes. So this time, we've managed to get through the next step fine. So the clutch ventilation seems to be a bit tricky and it will sort of, sometimes just not gonna work for me. But yeah, like I said, that's fine. We're going to leave that for now. So that's our next step done. All right, so our next step is going to be the shift fork teach-in. So start that one. This one's gonna rev for a lot longer. It's gonna be quite a while. It's gonna sit on 1500 RPM range. So just expect it to take a minute or so. If it goes on for like too long, if it takes minutes and minutes and minutes, then it's obviously there's something wrong. So you can just turn the car off and start the process again. But yeah, just be warned, it is a long procedure. So there we go, that's finished revving. So we've got teaching executing, it says it's now no, so it's finished, and normal end is yes. So what we need to do next is we need to shut the car off. So we'll do that. We're gonna leave that off for around a minute. And when we start it back up, we continue on with the procedure. Okay, so we started the car back up. Still in park, and brake on, and I just put it in S-Sport mode out of habit, foot on the brake. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to do clutch ventilation again, and I'm sure this is just going to get the abnormal end for me, but that's fine. So let's finish revving that one. Normal end again, so yeah, getting that every time. 
That's fine. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which is number four, and that is the stroke teach-in. So click on that. Start that one. Again, is revving the car up. So that's that's finished, and that has normal end yes. So that one's completed properly. Okay, so our next step is going to be the boost teach-in. This is one where it's going to be very loud. It's going to rev quite high, and it's going to hold it for quite a while. So yeah, we'll select number five, boost teach-in. Take our arrow, start. And then it's not going to rev straight away, but it'll sort of take a minute and it'll rev up to around 4,000 RPM. So if you have a loud car, like I said, this one is definitely one to not do in your driveway if you have neighbours that don't like the sounds that your car is making, if you're constantly revving it, starting it when it's cold, early in the morning. As you can see, it's... There we go. So yeah, revving to 4,000 RPM. And it's going to hold it for quite a while, like I said. So it's going to do this twice. It's going to... There you go, so there's the first one. See, teaching is still executing. And it's the boost teach. So it's now going to do the same thing again. It's going to rev back up to 4,000 RPM. When it's ready. There we go. It's time for the second. And holding that for quite a long time. second one so that has now finished it's not no longer teaching teaching executing normal end is yes and the boost teaching is the last one so that's the long part done next thing we need to do is reset clutch gain down the very bottom number eight so we'll click on that um, I don't think this one revs from memory that is done. Last one done is reset clutch and normal end is yes. So that's the end of the teach-in procedure. You then need to turn your car off and start the car back up and you have your teach-in procedure completely done. Now as you may remember, turn that off, um, our clutch ventilation didn't want to work but that's fine, we're going to see if it makes a difference anyway. So yeah, that's the process done. What I'll do is I'll just take it for a bit of a drive. I'll tell you if, guys if I can feel a bit of a difference, if it's shifting a little bit better, uh, which it should, as that's the reason we're doing it. Um, it's sort of learning where the clutches are worn to and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, you should do this every time you get the transmission serviced. But I was talking to AK Racing, um, who you know rebuild SST gearboxes almost every day and are doing tunes and teach-ins constantly. Um, it's basically more teach-ins isn't a bad thing. The more you do it, the better. So you don't have to wait till every service. You can do it every couple of thousand kilometres if you like. All right, guys, let's go for a drive and see if this feels a bit better. So straight away, even that just first to second shift, that felt better. So go back to first again. Yep. Come to a complete stop. So it's first gear. That second gear felt way better. Now I've still got a bit of slip in that 
fourth to fifth shift, but the shifts actually do feel a little bit crisper. I'm sure it's a combination of the SST getting the service and the teaching procedure as well. But yeah, it does feel a little bit better, like noticeably drives better. But yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure you put a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions or you're having trouble getting the pass through can software working, then I'll see if I can help you out. So definitely put a comment down below. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos on the Evo 10 and SST Lancer platform, but yeah, with that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.